today. I mean, Chris Froome has been extraordinary, hasn't he? Amazing. He has. An absolutely phenomenal athlete. I think it blows my mind to think how incredible his performances have been throughout the tour. So I think people thought it was a bit of a tall order to expect to Brit to be up there again for the second year running, but a great job by Chris Froome. He's had a really tough few days, though, hasn't he? I mean, there's all this doping talk, and as, as uh, Dave Brails Brailsford has said, it's been incredibly hurtful. It must have been quite hard for him to continue. You, you must have sympathy for him. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's hard when you, you, know, you, you train so hard and you work so hard and you want to compete on a, a level playing field and then you know, all that comes into play. It makes it very difficult and it is hurtful. You know, when you push yourself that hard, the last thing you need is, is people talking about drugs and sport. Now, I must ask you, you're obviously going to, I hope you're going to be pushing yourself very hard this morning when you run, but what, a, what next for you? Because I know people keep asking you, what are you going they to do, do now? And is there an answer yet? Um, not really. Um, I'm going to carry on running. Does that, is, that good, is that a good answer? Um, I'm, at the moment, I'm just trying to work out what I'm doing. I'm doing all the normal stuff that I've put off in my life, moving house, getting married, all the things that I've been waiting till my, my career was over. So um, just watch the space. We could sign you up for the London Marathon next year. How about that? Oh, that's too far. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> Give me well, a few years. All right. Well, very good luck today. Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much.